employers are going to be delighted to hear this. The Swiss are generally very satisfied in their workplace. That's according to a recent survey conducted by EY, formerly known as Ernst & Young. And we have Valentina here with us from EY. And Valentina, I know that you have conducted the survey at least twice this year, and the Swiss insist that they have an excellent quality of working life. So why is this? Exactly. We actually do see a consistent trend. Last time it was 86 and this time 87% of the Swiss respondents telling us that they're very satisfied with their jobs. And this is amazing. They're also telling us that what is important to have a positive experience at work is actually a good relationship with their colleagues and their superiors, but also flexibility is becoming more and more important and having a good and fair recognition of their contributions and their performance. Will this change with uh, disruptive forces like automation and digitalization coming to us? Well, in fact, it is a 50-50 situation. It's true many are satisfied with their jobs today, but others are quite nervous. So almost half of the Swiss respondents are telling us that they don't feel ready for future changes. They actually think that their jobs will become more stressful, more demanding. But on the other hand, we have another half of the respondents saying that they feel fit for the future, and they actually think that their jobs will become a lot more engaging, a lot more uh, interesting. But they also have quite high expectations in terms of level of guidance and support that they are receiving from their employers. So I guess this will change for people who are in their late 40s, early 50s, right? Well, yes, people in this range of age are struggling a bit more. Uh, they feel uh, nervous about the future. They don't feel ready. And this applies mainly to older women and low-income earners who share the same concern about their job security. So you mentioned women. Is there a gender gap in relation to job security? Yeah, to some extent, I agree, but it's not just about gender. In fact, for example, we see that young men living in the center with a higher level of education are actually ready for the future. They feel very um, confident about the opportunities that they will get and actually believe that people and not machines will contribute to changing the workplace. On the other hand, we see all the women in a rural environment and with a lower level of education who are a lot more skeptical. And it's interesting to see also the different approach that those groups are taking to face the future challenges and opportunities. Older people look more into skills. They believe they need to reinforce the skills that they have acquired, while younger people look more into sport, uh, well-being, and they think that this is the right attitude to whatever the future will bring. What advice would you give to people who are looking for new jobs within the next five to seven years to basically be ahead of the game? Yeah, it is important today and it will be more and more important to find the right balance between developing skill set and mindset. So my advice would be let yourself be guided by your curiosity to continuously learn and to adapt to change and gain new skills because we will have soon new jobs that do not exist today. But also don't focus only on technical skills, but develop those aptitudes, those uh, abilities like emotional intelligence, collaboration, agility. Because yes, machine will redesign everything we know about the workplace, but they will never replace the human skills like creativity, like empathy. And this applies to uh, employers, but also to employees. We see at EY more and more clients seeking for advice on how to adapt to change, because change now is the new and our advice, my advice to them is, we need to look at change from a different perspective. Change is not something that you have to manage. Change is something that you experience. And to finish up, Valentina, are you happy with your workplace? I mean, do you qualify in, uh, in the survey? I'm very happy <laughs> and I'm actually qualified as a young person. <laughs> very good to know. So thank you so much, Valentina, for coming. Thank you.